Yeah, my background is all fixed wing, uh, mostly Air Force uh, F-16s, A-10s, OV-10 kind of aircraft. Uh, never have had any real um, Stovall experience, so I uh, had a unique opportunity to get checked out uh, in the Stovall uh, environment. And uh, the preparation, as we do with everything in this environment here, was extensive. Uh, months of simulators and academics and uh, preparation so that when the event actually unfolded, uh, which was actually a series of events which includes short takeoffs, slow landings and vertical landings as well as uh, up and away ITVs in the, the uh, Stovall configuration. When it came to the point of actually executing that, it was very straightforward and uh, it was exactly as I expected it from all the sim work. Uh, it, Exciting certainly to be in that environment for the first time and, and hovering in a 40,000 pound airplane is a, certainly a unique event, uh, but the airplane was phenomenal, did exactly as I expected it to do. This airplane, uh, whether it's in CTOL mode or Stovall mode, is absolutely uh, the easiest aircraft I've ever learned to fly. It's a phenomenally straightforward, the, the handling qualities are very good. Uh, the systems from a just flying it perspective are actually very simple. Uh, the pilot uh, doesn't really have to accomplish a whole bunch of uh, checklists or anything like that. It's basically a start it up and go fly. It still is uh, exciting to me to be in that stove environment because the, it's, it's very unusual, but the airplane's performance, its capabilities is so strong and, and exactly as we expect it to be that it's, it's impressive. Uh, exciting to uh, slowly expand the envelope, but really gratifying to see that as we do that, the airplane flies just as we expected it to fly.